Frank, we've heard today that you're leaving Coast United uh, for now and uh, it must be a, a bittersweet moment about uh, what's coming next. Yeah, um, first and foremost, I've had a great time at this club. I think a stretch of four, four to five years. hope I'm not getting the numbers wrong there, but, but it's, it's been a long time. Obviously left and come back. Uh, the last couple of months have been difficult for me personally, not playing and being involved. So, you know, coming to an agreement to, you know, pull my, my time and end to an end here, something that's a bit bittersweet, but at the same time, where everything you've got to move on and, and new challenges are ahead for me. Yeah, and you've had a lot of challenges at a lot yeah. of different places. Yeah. So moving around in football isn't going to be something new to you, but you still must feel that Frank Lindbergh has got something to give for you. Yeah, of course, yeah. I mean, I'm 31, 32, uh, you know, come the summer. So, you know, personally, I know I've still got a lot to give. Listen, every manager and, and you know, higher up in, in all clubs have decisions to make. And maybe my, my decision was made for me not to, you know, feature as many games as possible as I wanted to, sorry. Um, so I've got to make the decision as well of the club just to make things classy and honourable. And if I have to move on, I move on. And that's the case now. All I care about, well, while about this club anyway, for the club to do well. Even when I've not played, I've always supported the boys. So nothing's going to change. I've left now. Um, and I'll, I'll come back for sure and, and support support the team wherever he was playing. Hopefully it'll be boys that are young now, but carrying on to have a great career ahead of themselves. So I'm looking forward to the future. Yeah, and just going back now, you joined us in the summer of 2018, first of all, yeah. and enjoyed two very, very profitable uh, and, and productive seasons for you in, in terms yeah. of you were almost an ever-present and we finished eighth and sixth in the league. Yes, yeah. The, yeah, great times. Um, obviously signed, I think, with a few players, Harry Pell and, and, and Luke Norris the same, in the same window. And we came to the team, I think, that was already doing well. But at the same time, I think we added something to it. And we had a great year. I guess we start on the last day, I think, against Lincoln. We played, we won a game, and I think Newport might have won. Um, and then the following year, you see, it was the COVID, COVID was year, year playoffs. It was shortened one year. Yeah, and we played Man United as well in a cup, which is unbelievable to think that actually happened, that run, that cup run, playing Spurs here at home. And we've had, I've had big moments at this club. I've really enjoyed it considering we're a League Two side and, you know, relatively small team compared to a lot of teams in our league. I think we had a lot of good times and it's not, that's not something I will always be proud about. Yeah, and obviously at the end of that season, I mean, you already knew before we came back for the playoffs that you wouldn't be here the following season. Yes. You know, but you weren't away for long at Plymouth and then, and then yeah. you were back in the yeah. January transfer window on loan initially. Yeah, that was a tough, tough time, that, to be honest with you. Knowing that a few of us weren't getting extended, you know, the likes of me, Ryan Jackson and Comley and someone else, I can't remember, Prosser, captain. It was tough because obviously we played quite a lot of games in that, in that year and we've done quite well. So, but, you know, things happened and, you know, the you know, chairman of the club made the decision that they couldn't, you know, keep give us deals. But then obviously finally I came, I came back after leaving to go to Plymouth. We actually had a good time there at Plymouth, but I always had, felt like I had stuff, the unfinished business to come back and do well here. Um, but I come back a situation where the club weren't doing so great in the league table, but we survived that year. And even moments like that were good, good moments to remember because when you come out of the mud with a team and players that you you've played with over a number of years, it's very if you feel satisfied, you feel like you've done it, it's a job well done. Especially because the fans couldn't come to the stadium, and now they can obviously enjoy the league and hopefully you know progress with the new manager now on board. Um, hopefully they can go keep going forward. That's what you want. Yeah, you mentioned that Manchester United game. Was that the main highlight with being at Coast United or yes. were there other individual uh, days or occasions that you can think of? Yeah, listen, if you look at my the goals I've scored for the club, the goals are ridiculous, isn't it? My highlight reel is a joke. <laughs> I've scored some great goals, so every goal I've scored, I have always say is a highlight. You know, I've not been a guy that's scored lots of goals in my career, but the goals I have scored have always been quite good ones and good finishes and important goals. I think I've scored a lot of important goals for the club and been involved in big moments. So I definitely say Man United is up there. If you're the top, let's say top three moments of my time here, easily. I mean, not many League Two teams play in a quarter final. Well, was it quarter final? Yeah, it was yeah. quarter final of a Carabao Cup. So, a great experience for that team. Was a real good team. So, really proud of proud of that year. Brilliant. Thanks, Frank, and good luck. No, I appreciate. It. Thank you.